welcome back to my channel. This is Liz. We are now in the second part of our episode about MVV visa and residence permit. For those who haven't seen the first part of this video, I'll be sharing the link down below. So let's begin. The immigration or the IND will be sending your spouse or your partner a letter confirming that your application has been approved. The letter also explains how you can apply for MVV and what documents do you need to bring. So while waiting for your letter, I am here to share with you my experience and guide you in advance what you need to do and what are the documents you need to prepare. To make an appointment for your MVV sticker, just go to the website of the embassy where you live or if you are in the Philippines, you can find the link below. Don't worry guys, because once your residence permit has been approved, your MVV also is considered as pre-approved. You just need to make sure that all the requirements they ask you to bring, you have attached that in your application form. And of course, you have completed the form correctly. First, you need to complete the MVV issue form that you can find in the description box, the link of the form. Basically, in this form, it covers about your personal details, your purpose of stay in the Netherlands, and some information about your partner or your spouse, such as his name, his address, and your signature. So just make sure that you have filled up the form neatly and clearly. If it's possible, if you can uh, convert that PDF into a fillable form, much better. Next, I'm going to discuss the other requirements that you need to bring or attach along with the application form. These requirements might not all be needed once you submit your application at the embassy. I guess it depends of the counter staff who's attending you. But these requirements that I'm going to mention now are based from the official side of the IND plus from the letter of confirmation that was sent by IND to your partner or your spouse. So what are these requirements? First, your original passport and a copy of your personal details and your passport must be valid for a minimum of six months. Second, if you live in a country that you are not a citizen or national of that country, in short, you are not living in your home country, then you are also required to bring a copy of your residence permit. Also, you need to bring the original in case your residence permit is not yet or it's not attached in your original passport. A copy of the letter stating that your application has been approved and your alien registration number or your V number. Well, this requirement, the counter staff did not take this copy. Fourth, the email and the result of your exam. Also, this copy, the counter staff of the embassy did not take this as a requirement. Fifth, your marriage contract and a passport photo that meets the Dutch requirements. If you are planning to have your photo taken at the studio, normally country-wise, the photo studio are well aware of the photo standard or requirements. So if you say you need a passport photo, for Netherlands, they know exactly what size and what background is required. 
just in case that you might encounter a studio that they are not familiar of the photo standard for the Netherlands, then I'll be sharing the link down below. But for the minimum requirements for the size, it has to be 35 by 45 millimeter, that's width by height. And for the background, majority of the people, they use white. And it should be less than six months old. And the last but not the least, a printout of the confirmation of email of your appointment. So that's all about the requirements. Your MVV will be ready to collect from the embassy or consulate or if you are in Manila uh, in VFS. And you can also receive this through courier. So it depends which country you live and what option you want to receive your passport with your MVV. In my experience, I opted to collect personally my MVV sticker. I collected it from the VFS. The VFS Global is located at Echo Plaza Building, Mezzanine Floor, Don Chino Rosses Avenue Extension in Makati. That I have a short clip for you. Okay guys, nandito na po ako sa BFS. In this video clip, when I collected my MVV sticker in VFS, I was actually not so happy of the service, starting from the security guard because it seems that the security guard is not well trained or well briefed what are the procedure because he doesn't want to let me in. He said, the releasing of the passport only begins at around 3 to 5 p.m. In case you encounter the same, just make sure you have your claim stub with you because in that claim stub, it's mentioned what are the timings that you can collect your MVV. Otherwise, the security guard will not let you in. I even spoke to the VFS who contacted me that my v MVB is ready for collection. The security guard even refused to talk to the VFS staff. Also, the queuing system, because I was there just to collect my passport. And my token was also included in the queue for new applicants. So, I waited so long for my turn. And when my token number was called, the counter staff referred me to another counter because he said that counter is in charge for releasing the passport with the stick with the MVV. And when I went to that counter, she also told me to go back to my seat. She also made me wait for so long. So it's up to you guys, but for me, I preferred collecting it personally because based from my past experience I've already lost a very important document and I cannot afford to experience the same again. Kindly note guys that we are also required to attend the pre-departure CFO seminar which is the guidance counseling program or GCP. For the details I also have a video about CFO that I will share in the description box, the link of my video. Once you receive your MVV sticker, there will be an information sheet enclosed to your passport. Please don't ignore that. Kindly read it 
because it's mentioned there that you need to check your MVV sticker immediately if all the information are correct. So what are this information that you need to check? These are valid for the Netherlands from the date of issuance until 90 days because the MVV is valid for 90 days, guys. Type of visa should be letter D. Number of entries should be multi. M-U-L-T. In other words, multi-entries. Duration of stay will be XXXX. You should go to the IND for your residence permit as soon as you arrive in the Netherlands. Then your passport number, and most importantly, also your name if it's spelled correctly. So if you find any mistake with the information, you need to inform them immediately. For your residence permit, that you will be receiving a letter from the IND within two weeks that your residence permit is ready for collection. In case you did not receive a letter within two weeks, then you have to follow up that from the IND. Because in my experience, we waited for more than one month for this letter. So after several follow-ups with IND, we came to know that the embassy in Manila did not forward to IND my biometrics. And the IND requested me to repeat my biometrics in any nearby IND here. But instead of repeating my biometrics, I emailed the embassy in Manila and attached the printout of my biometrics with the barcode and informed them that the cause of delay of my residence permit is because they did not forward my biometrics. And in two days, they took an action. So that saved me of repeating my biometrics again. Especially if you want to do your biometrics in Amsterdam, which is the capital and it's very busy, it's very difficult to get an appointment and that will delay you more by the way guys our mvv sticker we can also travel within schengen area so good luck guys and uh, i wish you all the best and advance welcome to the netherlands i hope you find this video again very helpful and useful and if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe until next time